I think they're supposed to be cherry too in a, in a German chocolate cake. Guys, I don't think we got served German chocolate cake. In fact, well, let's ask someone if they know anything about German chocolate cake. Excuse me, do you know anything about German chocolate cake? One that I know, that I, one that I remember is the German chocolate cake with cherries. Yes! yes. That's right. what I'm saying. It, it looks no, different. This is not, this is not, right. not the one. Okay. I even okay. tried it in Florida at Epcot. Like, still, like, uh, it was not as great. We're trying to pitch this to Disney. So, actually, the one at Epcot was <laughs> amazing. Oh, <no. laughs> it was really good. I'm David Seth Moltz, a perfumer residing in New York City. Start moving. This is crazy. Smell this. Isn't that insane? I believe that perfume has the same power as music, painting, and literature. A perfume is like an aromatic landscape that you can enter in your nose and your mind. This has been my vision for the past 15 years working in the fragrance industry with my wife, Kavi. Now I'm on a quest to take the ideas of artists that I love and to turn them into beautiful, wearable perfumes. Today's guest is Joe Talbot, lead singer of the band Idols from Bristol, England. I think they're one of the greatest bands working today. His passion and energy is absolutely incredible. Joe's humor, wit, verbosity really speaks to me. We're really looking forward to hear what he has to say to try to make his perfume dreams come alive. Perfume Quest! The Meetup! Dude, <laughs> what's up? How you doing? Welcome, man. I haven't you seen you in ages. Good. You do smell very good. Thanks very much. You are the first ever guest on Perfume Quest. Um, it, it feels and smells delightful. What have you been up to lately? All I've been doing is writing and recording. It's been like my life since I saw you last. You gotta just like keep moving forward. Yeah, I don't think you'd be sentimental about anything you make. If I make a song and someone gets the lyrics wrong or misinterprets the lyrics, it doesn't matter. Mm. The point is it's a conversation. Totally. I mean, and this is this is one of the things I feel most passionate about with perfume because just being able to talk about these things, I mean, it's a very mysterious industry to a lot of people. Part of this TV show also is just trying to get the conversation more to be able to talk about the magic stuff uh, yeah. that's going on. The words we use in fragrance are based on music, right? They're like notes, accords, like that kind of stuff. Mm. Hopefully showing the harmony between artistic disciplines is a way to make that. I think I think creating a link and a dialogue with with the with the with the audience, yeah. call it, um, is an important thing. So you you have a narrative and you have you explain something. The title makes sense and the story behind it is something tangible that you smell. And again, you're in the landscape. One of the things I think is miscommunicated is the wankery from perfume adverts. Oh yeah. Where it's like, distortion. Yeah. yeah. Reverie. You're like, what the fuck is Yeah, it's lemons? like a girl on a beach. I, I just smell yeah. lemons. Just yeah, talk, yeah. talk about yeah, the, yeah. do you know what I mean? And it, what it does is it keeps people at arm length in a sense of like that bullshit you get from high art, where it's like, you just don't understand. So I do fucking understand. The idea. All right, now we want to talk about making a perfume for you. Carte blanche as to what you want, but maybe you want to tell us like a story, uh, something that happened to you, a song, something that's so important to you, and I'm going to try to make it come to life in fragrance. I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, so I thought about this. Mm -hmm. and the first thing in the, the first thing that came up was a very, it's the most potent like day really in my adult life as to where I am now as a musician and as a father and a, as an addict. Mm -hmm. So I had, I had a, an episode, a psychotic episode, drug induced on tour. And it was probably one of the deeper traumas I've had. Yeah. And then the, the next day we're driving, we're going to Germany. And I was obviously very down and just recovering. And we're in the van. Okay. Going through the winter of the Black Forest Ooh. in Germany. I asked if it was okay if we take a detour to go and get the best slice of Black Forest Gatto. 
Oh, wow. Because obviously we're in the Black Forest. We all love cake. Yeah. There's no difference between cake and gâteau, is there? This is just words in English? I think gâteau is French for cake. Right, yeah, it is. We call it but Black Forest cake. Black Forest cake? Yeah, that's what I mean, oh, in America. Oh, okay. But, oh, yeah. yeah, in the UK we call it gâteau. Like, yeah. not, normally we say cake, but specifically this cake is called Black Forest gâteau. Maybe that's what we could call the scent. Gâteau means cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're driving through, find, you know, Google what is the best slice. Yeah. In, and we find it. It's like a two-hour off route, so it's a four-hour detour from where we're going. We were like, fuck it. I need to cheer up. I need yeah, to... yeah, yeah. It's a cheerful cake, right? Yeah. So we go through the snow. I mean, stunning. It's windy road, and it's like forest everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's like black trees and white snow. Mm. And we were listening to something, but I changed it. And the first song that came on was Blackout, Hamilton Lighthouser. <laughs> And it's like a song that I'd heard before and loved it, but for some reason, you know, as things do, they hit you in a different way, don't they, in certain points in your life. Hamilton Lighthouse was in the first changing of my life. In some way, he's, he's, that voice is there a lot, and he's definitely saved my life, or well, the music has saved my life in, in, in many ways. You're doing that. So you're that to someone else, how you're saying that the art lives on, like, past the artist. And... Yeah, I hope so. And I think because of that album and what the, the Walkman means for me, just his voice coming on at that point was really heavy. Mm. And like, I decided, I'm not very good at this, but like, I decided to like, just lean on, just like lent on, put my head on someone's shoulder. I can't remember if it was, I think it was John, our drummer. For the first time in a long time. I mean, you know, so my mum was ill. And then when my stepdad died, I became her carer. So I moved back to Wales to look after her. And that's mm. fine. And there was no violins needed. It was tough sometimes, but it was also beautiful and a gift that I got full circle to come back and look after my old dear in a lot of ways. And I'm grateful I did. And like, there's just a thing where you just, you have to bear the weight of certain things. You've got no choice. But when you finally take the weight off for a minute, you realize how heavy it was. Yeah, yeah. And that was that moment. I'm in the van. We're driving through, and I realised I hadn't lent on anyone, literally and figuratively, in a very long time. And it was just like a relief. And I just cried for a bit. And then I, I, I just appreciated how important that moment was. So we carry on driving two hours into the dark through tunnels and shit and sliding around on the road. We pull up, it's like a chocolate box town. Mm -hmm. Do you know chocolate box? Like, it basically, it looks like Christmas. Right. And um, the cafe decided to close 10 minutes early. <laughs> so we got there, and I'm like, come on. And they're like, just like, go Did away. someone try to explain? Like, no, you don't understand. No, no, we, I just started pissing myself laughing. I was just like, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. So the next, next door was a big old, like, massive stone hotel. Massive log fire, sat there for a minute, collected my thoughts, got back on the road, hit the hotel. Didn't eat the cake? No cake. Oh, my God. You know, the cliche that you pull from it is that it's about the journey, not about. Mm -hmm. We never got the cake. Yep. And it's like, it's almost better that way because right. what I got from it was way more important, obviously. Amazing story, man. Yeah. It was a healing thing. And uh, I'm very grateful for it. The first step. To think about like the major points that I would bring out aromatically, like you know, for me the cake seems pretty central, right? This is the cake that you yeah. never got. Those woods, like you know, the fir balsamy, like dark, dark woods. Winter time and forest and and the blackout song, right? Right. I wonder. I, I have no idea if this will work. I'm just gonna mix. Oh yeah. All right. So here we go. All right. So this is chocolate, right? And then you add uh, a little really bit of cherry. And you go. Then you start to have a rudimentary black forest cake. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god. 
Oh, it's a pick uh, me too. There's the cherry in there. Huh. So weird. Right? So these three <laughs> things together, like, oh, wow, you're, you're starting to smell them together. And you know, that's just one accord. There might be 60 things mm. in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it smells like Black Forest Cat. It's like detective work using uh -huh. a smell. If you start adding in the, the forest. The other, thing, the other thing that I, I've, I've just realized, my mum used to love Black Forest Cat, and I've forgotten that until this very second. Are you fucking kidding me? And maybe that's why I needed it so bad. All right, so I think I got everything I need to go on a perfume quest. So I'm going to go, and uh, next time I see you, I'll have something to show you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening. Yeah, of course, dude. Sick. All I'm right. like a fiend. Can't stop smelling it. All right. I'll feed her, Sin. <laughs> <laughs> the Quest! Before I travel any further, I'm going to try a local restaurant here in New York. I invited my old pal and not perfumer, Ian, to help me find an authentic Black Forest cake. The Quest is afoot. Oh, there it is. And I think that's the real deal. We're about to find out. Oh, this might be it. Could this be it? I see cherry. This is the real deal, guys. All right, let's find out. Ready? Ooh, see that cut? That was professional. Get into it. Give it a whiff. It's like jellied cherry yeah. sauce like in a, it. Like a liqueur to it. Yeah. OK, so you need like a heavier, redder cherry. Yeah. With the chocolate. I'm being transported to Germany. We're in the Black Forest. Uh -huh. Black Forest Cake, Black Forest Gatto. He's listening to the song In a Blackout by Hamilton Leadhauser. The name of the perfume should be Gatto Blackout. Oh, I like that. I like Gatto that a lot. Blackout. That's really good. Nothing gives inspiration quite like a slice of cake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, he said that thing about like, the cliche is the, the journey thing, but I was thinking he was gonna say, you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> so right. we'll, we'll have the cake that he can finally aromatically eat. That is sexy. That is a sexy bite. Are you, you're a trained actor, right? We could use that for the No, we can definitely use that. Slow-mo, right? You shot that in slow-mo? Ah, uh, oh. ah, uh, ah, uh, the clam, the clam. The clam. Wait for the clam. With the time constraints, I couldn't make it to the Black Forest. So I found a patch of woods that had some of the same flora. And I figured I would just pretend I was there. If we can just get over to these firs, I really want to smell all the fir trees. That's where Joe's perfume happened. Can we get through here without being eaten by ticks? Okay, it's mossy. The things we do for Perfume Quest. All right. Oh my God. It's really important that I get to smell the uh, underbrush. Oh, that's a fucking ant hive. We know that the scent is going to be based around a German chocolate cake, which is really dark and malty, you know, dark, rich chocolate. The forest floor, earthy dirt, has that sort of, uh, you know, rich earthiness as well as bitter chocolate. So I'm thinking that could possibly be like the, the base um, forest floor, fir, pine needles with the chocolate cake layered in there. Maybe some patchouli to round it out. See this moss? So many things smell in a forest, huh? Hmm. Yeah, this has a sort of, this lichen has a sort of band-aid-y smell to it. Um. I mean, we are in the middle of fucking nowhere. It smells amazing. Ow! <laughs> I mean, it's probably pretty ticky here. I don't know, do they have ticks in the black forest? One of the most crucial things on Joe's journey was that he was for the first time putting his head on his really close friend's shoulder while listening to In a Blackout by Hamilton Leadhauser. 
so I've employed one of my oldest friends, Ian, to do the same. of friendship in a nameless town in a blackout many friends have said goodbye hurried it out in one crowd I see they all just lost their mind <laughs> you know what? It's so moving. No one can stop. Like everyone just like shuts up. It's so moving, right? What a fucking song. <laughs> like you know, I, I think that Ham's voice is one of the best of our generation. So I can see how. Yeah, I can see how just like so moving. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get him for this episode? Could be cool. Ham. DS Moltz here. Yeah, you think uh, you could do it? Cool. I'm back in the lab. I've completed my quest. I went to the forest to check out the flora and fauna. I had a black forest cake. I listened to In a Blackout by Hamilton Leithauser. I've made all of these tests for Joe. I really tried to modify and make this concept wearable, but it just doesn't smell like a perfume yet. I want it to be grounded in the comforting feelings of the forest and that comforting feeling of friendship where Joe put his head on his friend's shoulder showing his vulnerability and this wild goose chase to find ultimately what was his mother's favorite uh, dessert. So yeah, I think I just, I, I'm almost there maybe. I got to just plug away a few more mods and uh, hopefully I get it. No scientific test can replace the expert's nose and keen sense of smell. Perfume fact number 375B. You don't make a perfume just by tinkering around, putting stuff in a vial. Eureka, you get it. The sweet smell of success will flatter fashion-conscious women and men. Perfume takes time, so the things need to meld together. So you make your formula. Patchouli leaves from Malaysia, flowers and sandalwood from India are crushed to produce the fragrant oils. And then you want to let that sit at least 24 hours, at least, hopefully two weeks. And thinking more that the cake was more important and the blackout was more important. The pine might have been dominating. This one I like the best of these three that are a lot alike. The oil which is produced will be mixed with various other ingredients in the laboratory. This is a more full body one. This is a more smoky one. The other thing is, do I go full like smoke show, blackout? Years of experience have taught the technician which recipe he must use. Then you take that and put it in alcohol, and that has to sit at least 24 hours before you get any idea, and hopefully two weeks. Trying to make it really wearable, you know, thinking of what Joe likes. Anyone who smelled this would say, oh yeah, that smells like a chocolate cake in a forest, a little smoky. But I don't know if it's performing like a perfume that I want. So it's a month later, you've put your oils in, and you're like, oh, this is totally messed up. Only by comparing it with a standard specimen can he tell if the blending has created the correct fragrance. You can cheat it and you can check it, but really to understand one perfume, you, you really want a couple weeks or a month later to, to know where it goes, and then you gotta try it on your skin. So it's kind of a lengthy process. The technician, with his expert sense of smell, has completed his work. Smell that. Maybe it's good. Fine. All right. So um, this is Kavi, my partner in crime, and she does all of our artwork, and she's going to help make the labels for the packaging for Gato Blackout. So do you want to just talk me through a little bit of your thinking and, you know? Yeah, so I thought because it's referencing the Black Forest, um, these cops. Hold for sound, hold for sound. All right, they're still going. 
Ooh, call the ambulance. These designs are sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> Somebody call the fire department. This place right. is on fire. Okay. <laughs> So I thought, because it's referencing the Black Forest, um, that I would make something that was, you know, kind of representing um, trees in a forest with these intermittent lines here. Okay, and then I thought with the with the typography, we could have some kind of odd spacing um, with the letter kerning so that it would be a little off-putting and weird. Oh, Heimlich. It's and German. Heimlich. Yeah, where the Black Forest is yeah. in Germany. And then I thought, you know, um, in another reference to Germany, I could use some different Gothic fonts. Yeah, it's so a I played, quarry. Ar played around with some kind of like more horror looking and Gothic typography here. Kind of. You know, my friend vibe. is editing this and he can make anything horror, so he can make us look like zombies right now. Go on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> Then I thought I would go a core. little bit playful and literal with the cake, and that, that's yeah, I like where this. I, um, I think we're landing. With the landing. weird spacing, mm -hmm. too. So it's got the kind of strange spacing. It's got the cake shape, which then I think translates nicely into the, the back of the packaging. Yeah, I love this, how there's like a piece of cake taken out. Because, yeah, you there's know, a bite taken out of the cake. This perfume, we're making him the cake he never got in a bottle. So it's sort of like referencing that. Yeah, I think this is where I'm landing. It's great. I think Joe's gonna love this. I mean, you think so? Yeah, he's you know such a design guy. I think I love it. Cool. I think that one's great. great. Well, we should do another one. Okay. Right sure. But I think Joe's gonna love this. I think Joe's gonna love this. I mean, Joe's gonna love this. I think Joe's gonna love this. I mean, you think so? Joe's gonna love this. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> As I've told you before, he really loves design. Fucking this whole fucking design shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We already do it so much. <laughs> Today's the day that we are going to reveal Gato Blackout to one Joseph Talbot. Pretty excited. I am dressed like the product. And what Joe doesn't know is I got Hamilton Lighthouser to come reveal the bottle to him. Hamilton Lighthouser, that voice is there a lot. Well, the music has saved my life in, in, in many ways. It's going to be crazy. So, I don't know what else to say. The reveal! <laughs> What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Welcome back. You look fucking magic. Gotta dress like the product, baby. Tasty. Wait, am I dressed like the project? <laughs> you need to tell me, am I dressed like the project? I mean, color, you, the colors make sense. The colors make this black? Yeah. Oh, we're great, we're great, yeah. Thank you, sir. Shirt, tattersall plaid. All right, so check it out. You came here and you gave us this amazing idea about this life-changing journey that you had. It's magical to see. I'm not sure if in the moment I figured this out, but the craziest thing is that the fact that you were going to get your mother's favorite dessert was like, was a revelation. I don't know if it was a revelation then, but certainly watching it again was crazy. Uh, and you didn't notice until you smelled the thing too, which I always think is very interesting. So this is a little picture of the journey that we went on. So the, the first thing we did was we, I went to go um, find a authentic German chocolate cake, which is, I don't know if this is how yours looks. That does look like uh, Black Forest Gato, yeah. And uh, it theoretically put us into a chocolate box town. What? Does this look a little bit, well, you know, this is a little Photoshopping or whatever you call it. You I was like, what, what is it? Yeah. But is this like the kind of town you're talking about? Like where yeah. it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So crazy. All this right. is crazy. This looks like the hotel that we, this in my story. Beautiful. So back in the lab working on stuff, but then I had to go to the forest. Yes. You know, all the underbrush of the pine forest and the bark. I got bitten by a bunch of ants, so that was me <laughs> right after figuring that out. Uh, and this is just me back, back in the studio working on it. Yeah, and we did the uh, listening to in a blackout, putting my head on his shoulder, and so we, we did like yeah. get into the whole vibe. It's not so easy always to mix things that don't smell alike in perfume, but I knew that they had to be there to tell the story, right? So went on the entire quest and try to work all of these together in the story that, so that you can smell everything. And so the final description is, from the ashy pines of dark times, the fruit of friendship flowers like a hunk of German chocolate cake. And the notes are, starts with black cherry, yeah. snow pine, incense, and you know, everything is in there for a reason, right? Like incense is like 
ancient rituals, anything spiritual or religious, and you obviously had this incredible experience. In the heart, you have cocoa, like real like chocolate smell, jasmine flowers, and I put that in there just because I know what you like, and just mm. was like, it needs to have a little bit of like the sweeter like flowers for you. And then Oris Absolute, which is probably, besides Oud, it's the most expensive ingredient in the world, and it uh, really does smell like chocolate, like itself. It has a, a you know a very chocolatey smell. So that brought the chocolate together in the heart. In the base, there's vanilla because great chocolate is always flavored with vanilla. Friends musk, like I just feel like the smell of your bro when your head is on their neck, yeah. like had to be like so key. And that's like musk. Like musk is the most comforting thing, you know. Mm. Uh, and fireplace because at the end you like you didn't get the cake, and then you went to the hotel, yeah. and you were like. I was just by the fireplace and just pissing, laughing, and just, you know, yeah. that, that, was, that was the thing. So I tried to get all of that in there, uh, in the scent. That's amazing. Yeah, that I mean, the like... story was extremely inspiring to me. I mean, it, just trying to like honor someone else's yeah. moment, you, it's, there's more pressure. There's more pressure to like make sure that it all makes sense. And then I made a bunch of things that smelled like like the story, but like they weren't going to be good as perfume. Like, okay, yeah, you know, that's the thing you have to, and that that's like for songwriting for you, right? Like, mm -hmm. economy of art, yeah, is like emotion divided by narrative. You like, you can put everything you want in it, but sometimes everything you want isn't necessary to capture who you are. Dude, couldn't have said it better myself. All right, so hearing that whole story. How you feeling about the, the reveal? Hi, you ready to smell this thing? That was a class for it. <laughs> um, I am. The weight of it, because it means a lot to me. Mm, I appreciate that. I, anything that I get involved with, with people that really care, it's like, it's a huge gift. Things are created because you've met or you admire each other or you speak each other's language, artistically speaking, mm -hmm. creatively speaking. It's not something that you can, underestimate whatever it fucking smells like i'm <laughs> very grateful but from what i've heard i'm i'm excited i'm a little nervous this is it's a bit like tell you what, it's, a, it's like a, why i would never have my fortune told <laughs> right sure because i'm like i don't know <laughs> i don't know or yeah, like and it, you know and it feels pressure but like the flip side of what you just said is like we're so honored, I'm so honored. You're an artist that I love and respect so much and to be able to work with you on something is, it's the same thing you said. I, I feel the exact same way. And whether or not you like it or not, like that'll be interesting to see for the cameras, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's mem this memory is encapsulated. It's what, I, it's what I worked on to finally get a wearable perfume of your idea into something you know that, that, yeah. that you could actually wear on your skin. And, and that's the magic bit. Um, so without further ado, I would like to reveal Gatto Blackout. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> On your scent. Oh my god. Yes. What's up, man? Oh my god. Yes. What's, What's up? up? How you doing, man? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Are you nervous to smell? Have you smelled it? No. No. I told you the story. Oh, yeah, you know the story. That's right. It's kind of a wild card that you're smelling. I didn't, I didn't think of that. You know, I knew you were handing yeah, the bottle. Let's have a let's have a sniff. Thank yeah. you very much for coming. Yeah, of course, man. Beautiful. <laughs> this is sick. Yeah. I love it. Beautiful Coffee design. design. That's all her, obviously. Of course. Can What's you that? spray it? Because I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to like. Here we go, guys. Nice. This is the yeah, only uh, bottle in existence spray right spray now. Cards. Yeah. You gotta smell it first. <laughs> So deep, isn't it? Yeah. So much. Yeah, it took a long time to get all the all the 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 chocolate and the cherry. You can smell the the pine and the incense. It's so bizarre. It reminds me of my mother. Really? Mm. Isn't that crazy? You want someone? Well, congratulations, man. Can I get a little yeah. hit on my... Uh... Yeah, you do you. Yeah. From me to Wait. I'm going on a quest. <laughs> 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 I 
I can't believe you're here. This is so weird. <laughs> the last word. Stunning. I love it. It's everything I love. And this is what I was going to say. This, it's like, it smells like me. And I, I immediately thought about why and why it smells like my mother. But it reminds me of my mother. It doesn't smell like her. She just smelled like Chanel number no. five. Mm. Which suited her beautifully. Classy? She's a classy lady. She wanted to be classy. Yeah. And um, that's the decoration of it. It was a beautiful thing. She treated herself because she came from abject poverty. And when she could afford it, she treated herself like a fucking queen. Yeah, that's great. And uh, that's the thing about scent. Yeah. It's, ugh, man. I think one of the things that's important from this project, beyond this single scent, which I think you've mastered beautifully, I think it's perfect. Now, I've got everything, well, and there'll be more to come, because it's very deep, it's a complex, this is a very complex smell. But I think what people, what viewers can get from this, more than we can, mm -hmm. especially if they don't feel that they can have a creative voice, or they don't know how, you know that idea of like, oh, I'm terrible at drawing, because they think of what to draw and they can't put it to paper. It's because they're not exercising the practice of creative thinking, which is to celebrate your true complexity, which comes out, people would go, flowers, really? Yeah, I love gypsophilia, I love chrysanthemums and dahlias, and I love that, and I see them and I'm infatuated by that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my insecurities before, which is the enemy, insecurity, the enemy of creative thinking, is if you actually really truly celebrate what you, who you are, which is the little things that have built you from time, your mother, your father, trauma, fucking, that recovery, that day of recovery, the Walkman, whatever it is that builds you as a person. If you genuinely celebrate what you love and you put it onto a poem or a painting or a perfume, it will be you. Mm -hmm. And that trans, that, that fluency of creative thinking is all, if you can work towards that, is what will complete your journey. And that's, the journey's the bit, that's the important bit. Totally. It's not, the fucking chocolate cake at the end. That's perfect. Perfume quest! Motherfuckers! <laughs> Mother beep! That was great, dude. Oh, man. Thank you so much, man. This is incredible. incredible. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Look at that. And you smashed it. I love, love it. it. I love it. Oh, it's so good. Come on. It's perfect. Yeah, it's dope. I'm psyched. It's such a, it's such a, a big. You're a fucking genius, man. You too, my man. You too. Am I talking to camera or to you? All right, camera. Just, do, just do it again. You know the plastic that comes on the outside? <laughs> she does right. that. Fucking <laughs> In a world with one perfume. Perfume quest. <laughs> perfume quest. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba okay. So, in uh, perfume quest. Oh, oh, nice. oh, look at that. <laughs> he just drank. All of that. And some of that. Action.